Hello ladies and gents, Metro 5 here with another movie review. This past Wednesday, we went to go see Transformers Age of Extinction. Now this movie has been uh, reviewed by, I'm sure, a lot of people. I just recently watched, um, uh, shoot, what's his name? Uh, Ang no, it's not Inger Bergender. Uh, <laughs> Uh, what is it? Black, yeah, Black Nerd. Something Black Nerd. <laughs> anyway, I just recently watched, uh, Black Nerd, uh, Bright, uh, review this movie. And what he had to say, I kind of have to agree with. Um, now he went into, uh, why, uh, uh, a lot of explanations. He talked about a lot of stuff, but uh, he went to um, a great extent in editing <laughs> his review. Uh, he also had someone else doing the review with him, too. So, oh, unfortunately, mine will be a little less uh, production. <laughs> there will be a little less production because it will just be me with no video clips, and you'll just have to imagine what it is I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, for one, he talked about uh, um, Bud Light, this Bud Light scene, where this Bud Light truck gets demolished, and there's Bud Light cans everywhere, and Mark Wahlberg uh, smashes, t picks up one of the cans, or bottles actually, Picks up one of the bottles and uh, opens it up on uh, some dude's car <laughs> and chugs it. Um, now, uh, he was talking about how sad the scene looked because it was panning over and it had like this sound, this sad music to it. Um, now, from me being from St. Louis, uh, when I saw that, <laughs> that Bud Light truck get demolished, uh, I was pretty sad about it. I mean, I was like, no, not the Bud Light truck, man. <laughs> so, I kind of understand what the, where the, uh, the developers or producers, or Michael Bay was going with that scene. <laughs> I guess he's a big Bud Light fan uh, himself, and maybe he kind of felt the same way when uh, they had to demolish uh, a Bud Light truck. By the way, not a sponsor. <laughs> um, he also talked about the uh, the transform rock stuff that they found. Um, that scene was pretty cool when he uh, picked up the ball and he had it like morph into certain things, like a uh, portable set of speakers, uh, gun, uh, and some other stuff. I think that was freaking awesome. Um, I mean, it had it, like, floating around in the room. Hang on a sec. There we go. I had to fix the light. Anyway, he had it floating around, you know, around his face and everything. And it was, like, flying. That was really cool. Uh, now, they also talked about, uh, the length of the movie. Now, this is a pretty long movie. I definitely had to go pee <laughs> after this movie, which is almost unheard of for me. I almost never have to go pee after a movie. Uh, there were a few movies that came out before this that were pretty long, too. Um, the Lord of the Rings, I think the third one, I definitely had to go pee after. Uh, and I think... Um, I don't think I had to go pee after any of the... Uh, um, Harry Potter movies. They were pretty short. They kept them kind of short. Which, I'm, from what I hear, a lot of people hated because they cut a lot of the stuff out. But that's for another video. Anyway, we're talking about Transformers Age of Extinction. Uh, my overall view of the movie it was freaking awesome. If you have not seen this movie, I suggest you go see this movie right this second. Fuck the rest of this video. Go see it. Okay, you can watch the rest of the video later. But go see this movie right now. Go. Why are you still standing there? Go watch this movie. <laughs>
because this movie is freaking awesome, okay? Um, it kind of reminded me a lot of uh, the last one. Uh, what was the last one? Um, oh, Dark in the Moon. That was the last Michael Bay movie. It was Dark in the Moon. Dark in the Moon was freaking awesome. Uh, it reminded me a lot of that. If you didn't like Dark in the Moon, though. Um, if you did not like Dark in the Moon, I still would still kind of go see this movie because it is still, still kind of that good. Uh, if you did, <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. Let's talk about some of the characters, why don't we? Uh, Mark Wahlberg, I've never been a big fan of his, uh, acting, but he was kind of good in this movie. He was pretty good. Uh, his daughter was fucking hot. I mean, I feel like she should have been in every scene. Whereas, uh, Black Nerd thought he, she should not have been in the movie at all. I kind of have, I totally have to agree with, disagree with that. Um, she was hot. She was definitely eye candy for all the guys. Uh, <laughs> she definitely had that tomboy thing going on. Uh, but she was kicking some ass maybe I mean she gets kidnapped at one point and she can't handles herself pretty well uh, after she gets kidnapped and I think she could be kind of uh, um, um, what do they call them uh, uh, a, a figure uh, for all the women out there who kind of see those, themselves as a little less than which they should uh um, um i'm still trying to think of that word it'll come to me eventually anyway uh, um the bad guys were pretty good um uh, kelsey grammar uh wow i just pulled that name out of my ass kelsey grammar only because i'm a big fan of his uh uh, the Frasier series. Now, he's got another series that I cannot remember that's on A&E, I think, or something. I can't remember. Anyway, he's got this one series. I think it's called The Boss. Let's go with The Boss, even though that could probably be wrong. Uh, where he plays a pretty big badass in that movie. Um, he was on some talk show talking about... And they showed like a preview of um, him in the movie. And the scene that they showed, I mean, dude, he was swearing and everything. I mean, he was, it was pretty badass. And I think what he did is he took that role uh, that he took, he took that character from that TV show and crossed it over to Age of Extinction. I, I think I it on the computer over here. I keep looking at what it's called because <laughs> my memory is not so good. Anyway, I think we, we <laughs> he, he took that character and he's transferred it to uh, this character that he did in uh, Age of Extinction. And, and he just made it freaking awesome. Um, so yeah, I, I got an itch. I'm not picking my nose. I got an itch. <laughs> Uh, some of the other, uh, let's see, he was like the main bad guy in the movie, you know, because he was the one that just really hated Transformers, I mean, all of them, for some, I don't know what reason, he was like, he kind of reminded me of, uh, all these other people who are talking about illegal aliens, you know, like, Mexicans crossing the border into the United States, he kind of reminded me of that kind of demographic, uh, personality, uh, towards, uh, the Transformers, uh, so, uh, let's see, you got the guy who, the inventor, who is, uh, take, is taking all the metal and making all the, uh, uh, making his own Transformers, if you will, and then, let's see, you got the Autobots, and then you got the, uh, fuck, uh, Elobots and the, uh, shit, who are the other guys? <laughs> um, Decepticons. <laughs> Decepticons. I knew it would come to me if I just, you know, 
uh, if I stop thinking about it for a second. Uh, okay. Okay, you got the Decepticons, you got this guy who created all the all of his own Transformers, and then you got Kelsey Grammer's character, who's the CIA badass guy who hates the Transformers. So he hires this guy who created his own Transformers, or he hires this guy to create his own Transformers, I should say. Uh, this metal that he found, find, he found, or he's not really find. He, he's um, uh, what do they call it? Um, recycling. He's recycling uh, the metal from the dead Transformers that the CIA agents kill to make his own Transformers. Uh, and the CIA guy, Kelsey Grammer, hard, uh, has this guy building it, and then he, uh, one, uh, um, let's see, who's the leader of the Decepticons? Anyway, that guy. Okay, they get that guy. Okay, and then they're taking data from his brain, if you will, uh, and transferring it to this other transformer to which they think they're going to uh, control but this guy is he's like way too freaking powerful so he takes it over pretty much and makes it his own uh, where am I going with this oh yeah Kelsey Grammer being a badass yeah his role in the movie. That's his role in the movie. And, uh, let's see, Mark Wahlberg. Yeah, I already talked about him. He's pretty good, even though I'm not much of a fan of his. Uh, his daughter is fucking hot. Should be in every scene. <laughs> uh, I totally, um, am jealous of the, uh, boyfriend figure that's, uh, in the movie, her boyfriend figure. <laughs> um, let's see. There was one guy that was not in it that very long. He ends up dying somewhere in the movie. Uh, now, that was actually kind of sad. I mean, the way they did it. I mean, they usually don't do that <laughs> in, uh, in the other ones. If someone dies in the other ones, I mean, it's like they just kind of blow it off and blah, blah, blah. Someone just died. Oh, whatever. In this one, uh, they acknowledge it pretty well. So, yeah. It was kind of sad when that one dude died. Yep. Okay. So, my overall review, I'm sure if you had not, uh, <laughs> if you had not gotten the gist of it, uh, go see this fucking movie. Please, go see this fucking movie. Okay. Um, okay. So, that is my review of Transformers. Um, my computer just fell asleep, so now I can't see the damn name of the freaking title of the movie. Uh, Age of Extinction. Yes. Transfer. I knew it was, uh, I just couldn't remember for some reason. My memory is not so good. <laughs> My memory is not so good. <laughs> That's me trying to do an impression. <laughs> I could do uh, the chipmunks, but that's for another video. My memory is not so good. That's the chipmunks in a German accent. My memory is not so good. Okay, so. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to end with a good laugh. Alright, so... Uh, like, comment, share, so etc. Please. I need some views. I need some... Subscribers. Subscribe, please. Also, do that. And you will see more of these kind of videos. <laughs> and I will probably be doing... Uh, Video game thing, maybe. I don't know.
Glad to see. Dun dun dun. <laughs> no wait, let's let's set it up. The cruise. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's another good laugh for you guys. <laughs> You're welcome, America. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to say goodbye. And like I said, like, subscribe, share, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Bye.